everyone! Welcome to a new YouTube video. If you're here for the first time, my name is Mishka. Today I'm going to be making a patchwork bag since I have so many shreds of old fabric pieces lying around just waiting to be used. This is my assistant, Mousy. Say hi, Mousy. She's usually not quiet at all. Huh? So what you'll need is a sturdy fabric. I used some white cotton. It used to be an old tablecloth, which is actually perfect. What are you doing? What is she doing? <laughs> what else do we need? Well, nothing else. Let's get started. Just to get a rough idea which size I wanted to make the bag, I just used a bag that I already had and just worked around it. I also ended up using tracing paper just so that I had the size for next project. But you can also just draw directly on your fabric. Just to mention, this was a really quick project. I worked really quickly and I didn't measure every, everything exactly as it should be. I just kind of, you know, eyeballed it, which worked for me. I just straightened things out as I went along, but maybe you should just measure things exactly the way they should be. I measured the strap length of the bag that I already had just to get a good idea and decided to make my bag straps a bit longer so I can casually wear it over my shoulder. For the strap width I went for about 10 centimeters. Then fold them in half, press them and sew them along this line making sure you don't close one of the ends. To turn the straps inside out, I just used a long paintbrush. So we end up with one long piece of fabric containing two main panels and two side panels. Hey Mousy, I need my chair back. The most tedious part of the project was searching every single fabric patch. Which is still better than overcasting every single piece. <laughs> then I tried to figure out what was best for the design. I decided to lay out all the patches along the bottom of the bag, making sure that they were random, but not too random. Pinning the patches wasn't too bad. Sewing them, on the other hand, was a whole other matter. All I can say is, uh, good luck to you. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't too bad. Just make sure that you don't sew all of them in one go. Just pick single lines and work from patch to patch, step by step. Moving on to the top of the bag, I just searched and overcast the top. When attaching the bottom panel to the main part of the bag, 
make sure the right sides are facing. Also make sure you only sew between these two lines from one side panel to the other side panel. To give the bag a 3D shape, I started with the bottom panel attaching it to one side panel and then another main panel sewing together along the bottom. Make sure the bag is inside out so you won't be able to see the stitches once your bag is the right side. Now it's starting to look like a bag. For the straps, I first pinned them to the bag just to make sure I could try out different widths until I found the sweet spot making sure the bag sits smoothly. And then I sewed them on real sturdy with a cross in the middle. To round things off, I wanted to make a pocket for the outside of the bag. I gave it a square form and I went for 10 cm by 10 cm. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.